Human smuggling, big business, and for illegal immigrants trying to get into the U.S., the only thing standing in their way, the U.S. Border Patrol here in Detroit. But as Action News reporter Ronnie Dahl discovered, getting caught doesn't always mean a one-way trip out of the country. Friday afternoon in Detroit, Border Patrol agent Mark Hall gets ready for another night on the job. I guess the idea is so I don't get any extra holes in me tonight. <laughs> Hall hits the streets, patrolling Detroit's neighborhoods in desolate parks near the river. They become popular spots for criminal activity. A car sitting alone at Harris Park grabs the agent's attention. What, what I do on? Well, it's kind of odd. You're not a place I would normally see somebody park. It, it is a drop-off lane. It's uh, some uh, location where we have seen activity before, so certainly uh, raises a level of uh, suspicion. The driver has outstanding warrants for traffic violations. After a search of the car, he's allowed to leave. Coming up. Due to the close proximity to Canada, the Detroit River has become a popular passageway for illegal entry into the U.S. There's a lot of different nationalities that are allowed into Canada without visas, so it's easier for them to travel to Canada and then try to sneak across our northern border. With freedom just a boat ride away, stopping illegal aliens from gaining entry into the country has become a game of cat and mouse. My record is uh, arresting the same three guys three days in a row. In the law enforcement community, it's known as catch and release. It's a well-known secret. Illegals are let go because of budget constraints. And many times, they are only deported after they get into trouble. Jose Humberto Carcamo was living in the U.S. illegally when he was drunk behind the wheel and crashed into Trisha Ann Taylor and her friend as they were leaving the Arts, Beats and Eats Festival in 2002. Both of Taylor's legs had to be amputated. Carcamo had a long history of driving violations. He wasn't deported back to El Salvador until after he served prison time for the accident. And in March of this year, ICE released more than 2,000 illegal immigrants because of budget cutbacks. They plan to monitor them through tethers until their court hearings. We're just one cog in, in the wheel. And, uh, you know, we certainly do our, the best that we can on our end of that deal. And, you know, it's up to the courts to handle it the way they're going to... Uh, deal with, with the individuals. In the meantime, agents like Hall remain on the job 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, risking their lives to keep the country safe. Along the U.S.-Canada border, Ronnie Dahl, 7 Action News.